Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's answer the question, how good is tracking in Adobe Premiere Pro? So let's answer that question, how good is the tracking? Well, the, the tracking is as good as it's expected to be in Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro is not a visual effects application. The tracking is meant for something simple like this. If I want to blur the license plate, I'll go to my effects. I'll add a Gaussian blur and I'll add a mask around the license plate. Track that forward. And let's look at that track. Let's track that backwards. By the way, you can turn on preview. It's just faster to have it turned off. And I'll turn on the blurriness. And we'll play that back. That's it. That's all you're supposed to use the tracker, the, the mass tracker in Premiere Pro 4. If it's, if it's moving. You can do more advanced masking if it's something isn't moving. This is not a visual effects program. Way too many people think that they're gonna get perfect results. Like this. Let's look at another example. Okay, I've got these dune eyes going on in here and I wanna track them. So I've got another layer on top with this blue effect. And I have two masks and I've got tint on this. So you can have two masks. Yes, you can have two, three unlimited masks as long as you don't touch the invert button. Invert is not subtract. I'll have a link in the description at the end for how Premiere Pro masking is incredibly limited compared to something like After Effects, which uses invert, but it also has mask modes add, subtract. That's what most people think of when they think of invert. Oh, I can invert this one and not this one. No, no, that's add and subtract. It's not in Premiere Pro because it's not a visual effects program. But let's have a look at, at these examples. So I'll track this forward and I'll turn this on. So we'll preview these. Let's track that forward. So we're doing that one over here. And it does a pretty good job but it's not going to distort the shape correctly around the eyes. And then eventually it's going to really lose it. So we'll stop at that point. So that's that one. Let's do the second one. Track that forward. And you'll notice the nose, it has to, the mask needs to be cut off. So this is where in a proper masking environment, you would have also masked the nose with a subtract mask to remove when the nose is, is hiding or occluding that mask. Let's stop that. So not very good at all. If you come from the Instagram world of visual effects, then this is probably amazing. But Instagram tracking and sliding and all of those social media things like, you know, like sticking glasses and faces on that move around and slip and slide, if that's what you're used to, great. Premiere Pro is amazing. Woo, visual effects, great. But most people are used to something that's supposed to be a visual effect where you don't see the visual effect. In Instagram, you know it's an effect and everybody's having fun. But if, you're, if you want something to not look like an effect, you don't use Premiere Pro. Last example is hand tracking. So again, I'm gonna track this hand um, and I've got a very detailed mask. Again, I've got tint on here just to show you uh, what the difference is. 
and let me make this maybe darker blue. So I took the pen tool and I drew it all around that area here. Now the example I'm going to show you after this is using Mocha with Mary Poplin. She's like the best in the world uh, and I'll have a link to her tutorials. She's got countless tutorials on the on the internet for complete beginners to advanced uh, roto. And for this example, I did one mask and that's really a no-no. What you typically will do if you're masking out something like a finger is you'll have a one mask, two masks, three, three masks just in one little finger with all these three joints on their own so that you're moving them almost like a puppet. Beep, 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 beep. And uh, the results are going to be much better. But let's mask this forward. And you'll see it, boink, it's just, it fails big time. And here's the other thing. Let's say that you are determined to do this in Premiere Pro. So you go to the point where it starts to fail and then you edit this here. So if you edit this, that keyframe here, all of these other keyframes do not update. Same with After Effects. Both of these are a huge problem. You might expect that if you edit this keyframe, the new modification is, uh, is, is changed on the other ones. And that's not the way Premiere Pro or After Effects works. Mocha does. Mocha, when you tweak one, it's tweaking them all and it's so much better. The main reason I'm making this tutorial, tutorial is I, I get questions from folks who aren't used to masking, they don't know what rotoscoping is, they see masking in Premiere Pro, they try it, they fail, but they fail for too long. I've had people ask me questions after two or three days. They're determined to do it in Premiere Pro and they keep coming back. How come? Why isn't? What does it do? And they don't want to learn After Effects or Mocha. I understand that. I understand. But here's the thing. You've wasted hours or days fighting with Premiere Pro. And then the next time you're going to do masking, guess what? You're going to go back to this and you're going to fight. Make a commitment to yourself. You know, take half of your Saturday out for a, a few weekends and start to learn something better, which is Mocha. You get Mocha for AE with your After Effects Creative Cloud account. Let me just show you quickly what Mary's doing in Mocha. So. Even Mocha has to tweak the mask. After it tracks it, you tweak it, but the results are fantastic. Again, I'll put a link to this uh, in the um, description. So this is the masking part. I can't link exactly to, to this one, but if you go to this URL and then click on masking, watch what Mary has to do. So she's doing the same thing. And in this example, she does mention that she would have done different fingers differently, but. So we're going to correct our shapes where the finger. See, she has to fix it. And we can select multiple shapes at once. We also have this cool tool where we can snap our points by hitting Alt and S. And it'll try to snap to the. And then she's tracking forward and fixing and tracking forward and fixing. I think your expectations are totally out of whack if you think that you can draw a complicated mask, click a button in any program and have it perfectly follow somebody all the way. Yes, there is the uh, Roto Brush in After Effects. Um, and if you've had great results with that, wonderful, great. I have never had perfect results. This is about getting perfect results quickly. So instead of two or three days wasting in Premiere Pro, if you have these masking uh, issues, you open the clip, clip in After Effects and then use Mocha for AE and then start using Mocha to track and mask. And then your results are insane. They're amazing. You'll get better at this. And if you get really advanced, there's a, a professional version of Mocha, Mocha Pro, that does even crazier, more amazing things like change the lighting on something over time. So if you've rotoed something out and it's painted in and the lighting changes, 
it will change the lighting for you. It's incredible. It's used in Hollywood effects. There's an even higher level of something called silhouette that you and I see the results all the time in feature films. So getting back to Premiere Pro, what's it for? Blurring a license plate, following a face and blurring a face. It's not meant for super visual effects rotoscoping. Learn Mocha, you're gonna be so much happier if you do. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, although you find me a little bit annoying when I'm forcing you to learn something new, that's okay. Uh, take a moment and subscribe. You wanna support us some more, you can do that on videoreveal.com slash shop. Donate once or monthly, any amount. Lots of free stuff for you to download there. Thanks to all of our wonderful donors. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and Sometimes it's my job to bring the bad news and tell you that what you're fighting in Premiere Pro is just going to be an endless, sad fight. Learn After Effects masking at the very least, but even better, learn Mocha.